Fortunately, what we're going to be doing actually um, can be laid out, you know, in a step-by-step kind of process. And um, it's something that really one person can do fairly quickly, as a matter of fact. Um, I would say probably the first time you do this, it'll take you a weekend. Okay. So, uh, you know, if you're working or whatever, you got a regular job, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of time on it. You can do one of these in a weekend your first time. Honestly, um, if I'm really looking to move quickly on something, I can do it in in like two evenings. Okay, and for, for the most part, a lot of that, you know, granted, it's because I've been doing this a lot. I've been doing it a long time, and I really know what I'm doing, and I'm proficient in all of the programs that I have to use. But, um, you know, you can get there fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and take a look at an overview of what is involved. I want you to know, you know, beforehand, like it's good to have like a bird's eye view. Right, so you can tell this is everything that is going to be involved, and you know what puzzles fit where, so you can kind of see the big picture. First off, we want to find a hot niche, so we've got some research that we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you tools that you can use, places that you can go, where you can find out what people are looking for, because this is probably the single most important thing that you do okay and really in any internet marketing type business but in this especially is you've got to find what people want let me tell you a quick story if you go out and uh, find something that you think is really cool but nobody else is interested in it you're gonna spend a whole bunch of time putting together something that is gonna be worthless Okay, and let me tell you the story to illustrate it. If you go out and go fishing, and I don't do a whole lot of fishing, okay? I used to when I lived in Florida, I did a lot more fishing. I don't do so much now, but I do know this about fishing. You do not go into your uh, tackle box and find just what your favorite lure is and throw it out in whatever water you see and expect to do good with it. Because okay, there are certain kinds of bait and lures that work for certain kinds of fish. There are certain places where those certain kinds of fish hang out. There are certain times of the day that you want to be there. All of that comes into play to help you select what it is that you're wanting to target and how you will target it. Right? You don't go out and pick the lure first and then hope for the best in the water. You say, okay, this I'm going crappie fishing, or I want catfish, or I'm going to try to get some trout uh, or sailfish. Or, you know, you're going to pick what it is that you're looking for, and then you will tailor everything around that. So do you go out and... Just find some water, and whatever fish happens to be there, that's great. Not really. Not if you're really wanting to. I mean, you know, if you're just wanting to waste an afternoon and relax, then that's fine. But if you're wanting to fill an ice chest full of fish, you know, I used to have a, a friend that was an avid fisherman. And, man, he knew where to go and what to use, and he would come home with an ice chest full of fish. That was the whole point of him going. Okay, how did he do that? Because he knew where those fish were. And your fish is people on the internet that need something and they want to pay money to get it. So what you have to do is find what those people are looking for. Once you find what they're looking for, you just you do the same thing like with fishing. You find what they want and you give it to them. Simple as that. That, that is a formula that you can't go wrong with. Find what they want and give it to them. You provide that, you make money. Now, in this case, when we do our research, what we're trying to find is things that people are looking for so that we can set up a site based around that. And then, and not so much so that we can sell it. 
okay? Not so much that we can sell products and stuff, but so that we can sell that site and the people that are looking for it know it's in a hot market. So after we do our niche research, we're going to do some keyword research. We've got to find out, number one, that there are people looking for this thing. Okay, And if you use the tools that I'm going to mention to you in the niche research, you know it, that's going to be stuff that people are looking for because that's how it comes up. I'm going to show you how to find really strong niches that people want, lots of people. But in our keyword research, we want to make sure that, yes, a lot of people are searching for it, and two, we want to try to find out if people are willing to pay money for advertising with those keywords. We want keywords that people are buying so that we can see, yes, this is a profitable niche. There are some niches that are really you know, popular, but it's hard to make money at them. We don't want that. We want something where uh, people are showing that, hey, I'm making money at this because I'm spending money on advertising. Now, for the most part, most of the people out there that you're going to see that do site flipping, they are going to go directly from this to building a website, and they're going to throw up some AdSense on it. Maybe they'll even throw up some affiliate products, things like that. And then people buy uh, that site, and they just have to change their links, you know, their, their affiliate links and stuff like that. But the deal is we're going to do something a little bit different. What we're going to do is going to totally set us apart from everybody else out there. Instead of throwing AdSense on our site, you know, instead of throwing affiliate products, we're going to go out and buy a PLR product. Now, you may or may not know what PLR is. Okay? I will be going over this in great detail on, in that section, so I don't want to mention too much now. But a PLR product is a product that you have the rights, you're, you're essentially purchasing the rights to own the product and sell it to others. Okay, that's just kind of the uh, Reader's Digest condensed version of the whole PLR thing. Again, much more detail later. The secret, though, to being successful with this is you don't take that PLR product and just throw it on a site and bam, you're done. You rebrand the product. You make it truly your own by customizing it. And I'm going to show you how this is done. And the beauty of this is that if you go out and you get the right PLR products, um, it comes with a website already there. It comes with everything you need. Ideally, what happens is people buy a PLR product, and in their mind, ideally what happens is they can take it directly as is, maybe change their name in it, update their pay link, and they can upload it to their website, and bam, they're done. Instant website. It's got good graphics, it's got content, everything. But the secret with being successful at PLR is rebranding it. That way nobody else has it. Because with regular PLR, you know, a thousand people buy that product. And maybe you got 50 of them end up actually selling it. So those are a lot of competitors selling the exact same thing. How do you distinguish yourself? By rebranding it, new title, new uh, everything, you know, customize the graphics a little bit so that people can't tell that that's the same thing. You're the only one that has it. With 50 people selling the same product, you got a lot of price gouging going on in there, right? They're like, they see 49 other people selling it for 59 bucks, so they say, oh, I'll sell for 49. Pretty soon somebody else sees that, they say, I'll sell for 39. Somebody else sees that and it ends up seven bucks and you can buy this right now totally devalues it. But if you're the one that has, you know, your title's totally different and you're selling it for $67, people are going to see that. They're going to go, hey, this is a different product. Uh, it's more expensive. It's probably got more value to it. I'll buy that one instead. Happens all the time. And that is the secret to successful uh, PLR products. And I'll, I'll go into more detail about that later. Then you build your website. And this is going to take, you know, not a whole lot of time, not a whole lot of work. What I actually recommend that you do is some type of integrated blog type thing. Some P 
PLR products you get, you can get like a generic template, a header that you can use, uh, set up a WordPress blog, and you can do it that way. Uh, with some, you know, it might be a sales page, and then you add a blog onto it. But either way, what you're going to want to be doing is integrating a blog with it. And I will show you what it is that I do, uh, you know, in different situations to make that happen. Because you want to be able to write content. We've got to be able to put stuff on there so that people are like, wow, here it is, bam. And, uh, you know, you want the search engines to be attracted to you, and you do that with content. You set up a sales page, and you, that's it. Search engines don't like that. They're going to be like, wow, mini site, whoop de doo But you start adding a bunch of content, and they're like, okay, I got you. This is cool. And, by the way, um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Like, let's say that you get a PLR product that does not have graphics. It doesn't have a website. You can set up your whole, you know, your website as just a blog, and I'll show you even how to set it up where the front page is a static page that can be your sales letter, and then the blog is kind of a, an add-on type of thing. It's it's pretty cool actually. So you set that up, you get everything working. When at, at the phase of building a website, there's a whole lot involved. Okay, this is where you would make sure that your buy buttons are working, and you know if you got to set up PayPal or whatever, that's all going to be done through there. And then we put that website on Flippa.com. We set it up uh, to sell as an auction. And what happens next? Simple. Rinse and repeat. All you do is, uh, you know, if you've got, and there's a couple ways that you can do it, actually. If it's, um, if it's a real, real hot niche, you might want to let that website age for a little bit and just keep adding content every week, you know, write another article or something. But... Um, if you're going to build it and then turn around and sell it right away, that's totally cool. You can make really good bucks for that because, like I said, people are looking for instant turnkey done already. But what you do is when you post it uh, for the auction, just go right back and start on the next one. And hopefully you can get another one ready to go before that auction is even over. That's right. All right, in the next video, we're going to start at the beginning here with hot niche research, and I'm going to show you some tools that you can use to find some killer niches, and we'll even do a little bit of hands-on where I will use them, and I'll kind of just show you around the sites and show you things that you can find, and that'll be in the next video.